Hey guys, welcome back. Today, continuing the trend of episode 9 speculation, just about coming to the end of it, we're going to be talking about the four different planets that were seen in the teaser trailer. First of all is the desert planet, then it's the grassy planet with an ocean, then it's sort of a forested area with a pink sky, and finally the planet with snow-capped and very jagged peaks and a tiny little town that you see the ship going in. So we're going to touch on these one by one and I will talk about what I think they are. First of all is the desert planet. Um, in the trailer, you can see these little things placed at regular intervals. I am guessing those are some sort of moisture evaporators, and that's a moisture farm. Since the saga began on Tatooine, whether you're looking at episodes 4 or 1, it would be a nice circular thing to have it end on Tatooine. I know some people said, oh, I want to see new planets. Well, I want to see the old planets again. I want to go back, basically back home. To where Star Wars started. I believe that would be a beautiful way to end the saga to go back to where it all began, Tatooine. Next is the grassy planet with an ocean. I am definitely inclined to believe that this is Endor and there are several pieces of evidence for that. Number one, we have seen that same troop sitting in a forest with ferns in some of the different pieces of um, Promotional shots or behind the scenes shots that they showed at Celebration, and I will put those up right there. One is of Rey with an interesting light angle behind her. The other is of the whole troop standing under the Millennium Falcon. And the amount of ferns and the color of the bark makes me think that that is the same planet as the grass and the ocean, and that's Endor. The other piece of evidence that it's Endor is that we know from the Ewok uh, spin-offs that Endor does indeed have grassy plains and it's I believe that's still official, not the Ewok movies themselves, but the fact that Endor is not just forest, but it also has grassy plains and a couple of oceans, small oceans. And finally, unlike the first Death Star, which exploded into nanoparticles, the second Death Star you can see in a screen capture different pieces, larger chunks falling down to the forest moon. And so with these three pieces of evidence, I would say I'm about 80% positive that the grassy planet is the same as the forested planet and they go back to Endor. Next is the forested planet with a pink sky. I honestly cannot think of a planet that we've previously seen that this description would fit. So I'm guessing this is one of at least two brand new planets. I cannot claim to know what it's called or what purpose it serves, but we do know that the First Order is there and Kylo Ren is mowing people down on this planet. And finally, the very last planet is this place with very, very high peaks, very jagged peaks. It looks, it reminds me of a place in Solo or the, the Misty Mountains from Lord of the Rings, only not quite as much snow. And there's a ship going in and you see a little sort of glowing settlement. I would be willing to bet that is where they find Lando. So there you go guys, short and sweet. Those are my predictions for the planets of Episode 9. There could be more than that, I could always be wrong but we're just going to have to wait and find out. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more G-rated Star Wars content, go ahead and click that little subscription button down below and join the Clumsy Crew. Question of the day. What are your predictions for the planets in Episode 9 and the roles they are going to play? And second part of the question, if we were to visit just one planet from Episodes 1 through 6, in the final installment of the Skywalker Saga, any planet from those movies, which one would you most want to see again? Go ahead and post a comment. So I will see everybody again on Friday, and until then, God bless, and may the Force be with you. Bye!